Hello there. Very recently, Cisco announced a new project called Open App ID and its inclusion into the Snort Intrusion Prevention Engine. Since then, I've been asked by quite a few people about how to get started with Open App ID and how to in uh, compile it into a Snort engine. So I thought I would uh, put together this screencast showing you how to go from a completely clean virtual machine, um, a brand new installation of Ubuntu Server, into one that's up and running with uh, open source snorts, a set of rules, and open app ID enabled as well. So you can see on my desktop, I've got two windows there. On the right hand side, it is a completely clean, brand new uh, Ubuntu 1310 server virtual machine booting up. And on the left hand side, I've already downloaded the files that I need from the snort.org uh, website. There you can see every command I've ever typed into this virtual machine is completely clean. I'm just going to create a build directory which I can use for, for temporary files. And then I'm going to upload the, uh, the files that are downloaded from snort.org onto that virtual machine. Those files are the DAC engine, so this is Lib Data Acquisition, it's the latest version there, 202, the Snort uh, release with Open App ID enabled, the Open App ID detector content, and also a community rule snapshot. All of those files are available at snort.org. I'm going to SSH into this virtual machine so I can uh, access it uh, using my uh, terminal here rather than just the VM window. And I should find there's a directory called build, which is which has my um, downloaded files in it. First thing I need to do is install a load of requirements to get Snort up and running. I'm going to use apt to do that. The list of dependencies here should be familiar with anybody who's ever installed uh, Snort on a Ubuntu or Debian system before. The only one here you may not be too familiar with is Build Essential, which is a meta package, which I find very useful to bring in a lot of uh, compilers, uh, linkers, and other things that are useful. Then I'm going to download libdnet. I'm going to download it and build it from source here. You can see me untiring it, running configure, make, and then sudo make install uh, to, inst to put all of the files in their correct place. The second dependency I'm going to install is a new one, which is a Lua just-in-time compiler um, to run a lot of the Lua code which exists within the Open App ID, uh, Open App ID, uh, App ID signatures. So I've downloaded it, untarring it, and I'm going to simply run the command make and then sudo make install to copy those files into the correct locations they need to be on my system. So the next dependency I need to install is DAC, which is the Data Acquisition Abstraction Layer. I downloaded this from the Snort website, and I'm using the latest version at the time of recording, which is 202. So a simple configure, make, sudo make install after untarring the package is all that's needed to get that um, in, into, into place. Now. Uh, I'm going to run a command ld config because I've updated some of the dynamic uh, libraries on my system so I want to ensure they're all, up, all uh, configured and ready to be used while I compile snort. So I'm uh, untiring the snort 2970 alpha release package and then I'm going to configure it. You'll see a configure has a, a litany of options here and there's one specific one you need to uh, set to enable Open App ID. And if I can find it in the list, there it is, Enable Open App ID. I'm also going to uh, enable another set of options which are activated with Enable Source Fire, which is a, uh, a set of characteristics inside the Snort engine I expect to be uh, available in, in when, I, when I work with it. So a simple configure make and then sudo make install is all you need. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to compile than you saw here. Uh, I just sped up the process to save you watching, uh, watching GCC do its job. So sudo make install is the last thing that was required. Now I'm going to configure Snort with open app, without open app ID just to make sure the engine is functioning before enabling that new capability. I'm going to make some directories which will hold some configuration. So etc snort, uh, etc snort rules, user local lib dynamic rules, 
and you'll see me also touching um, some clean uh, empty files which will be referenced inside my configuration later on. So that's the Snort engine ready. Uh, the next thing to do is give it some rule content and some configuration files. So I'm going to copy um, the, uh, some of the contents of the Snort tarball into my etc Snort directory. These are configuration files that will be referenced inside my snort.conf later on. Right, so that is uh, Snort itself ready. Let's go and give it some rule content. I've downloaded the community rules snapshot here. I'm going to just create a temporary, temporary directory uh, for it. Move that file into the directory. Uh, untar it and then copy a lot of the rule content where I want it to go. I'm actually going to copy uh, the contents of this uh, etc uh, directory into my etc snort um, directory because it has an updated, some updated configuration files which I want to use. Now I'm copying uh, the preprocessor rules, um, the SO rules and the actual rule content into my etc snort directory. There we go. Now I'm going to configure the snort.conf itself. So via etc snort snort.conf. Remember, you need to have root privileges to do that um, in, in your path. So I'm setting my rule path to etc snort rules, which is where I set which I copied my rules to earlier. Same with my SO and preprocessor rules. I'm pointing my blacklist and whitelist path to um, etc snort, which where, where it will find the uh, empty files which I touched earlier. So I'm now going to run snort uh, with a minus T option, which will test that the configuration is functioning. So let's take a few seconds to initialize. There we go. We're good. It exited with the zero, which is which as expected. It's a clean run. The next thing we need to do is enable open app ID which is the extension uh, with the exciting extension which detects apps regardless of port and enables you to control those apps. I downloaded the open app ID detector package uh, earlier on and I'm going to untar that and you'll see a directory called ODP is created and I'm going to copy that onto a location inside my system called user local lib open app ID. So I'm going to make that directory and then I'm going to move the ODP directory to it that I just created uh, by untarring the table. And then I will enable open app ID in my snort.conf. So the order of um, order of configuration inside the snort.conf does matter. So I'm going to put this preprocessor at the bottom of uh, the preprocessor session section. It says preprocessor app ID. Uh, the file name for my app stats, the period I want to uh, to track stats over. I'm going to set to 10 seconds here rather than a minute just for this demo to make it quicker. I'm going to write that configuration and now I'm ready to actually test it. So I'm going to use snort minus T to ensure that it's the configuration is clean and ready to go. Which if it initializes correctly, we should be good. Great, now I'm actually going to start, start snort up with the command sudo snort minus c pointed to my configuration file. Then I'm going to specify DAC needs to use AF packet. And then I'm going to point it to my ETH0 on this virtual machine. And I'm also going to specify minus K none, which disables checksum verification. Here you'll notice that it's failed because I forgot to create a directory um, called var log snort, which I will do just now. That's the directory it will log all of its output into. So mukda var log snort, and this time snort should start up. There we go, it's functioning. I'm now going to open up a new terminal, or a new shell on that same machine to test open app ID. Now to do so, I'm going to browse around some websites and access some web apps. 
I was going to use Lynx to do that, which is a, a command line web browser, but it wasn't installed on this system. So I'm going to use app get install to install Lynx. Then I'm going to use it to point to uh, some apps. Well, an app anyway. Let's go and connect to facebook.com to use Facebook. There we go. Let's just point to some other places and let's actually start up a, a non-HTTP app such as SSH. So I'm going to use SSH as well. So hopefully we'll pick that up, or at least Open App ID will pick that up. There we go. Now if I quit all of those and I go back to my original shell, I'll notice that it's created a unified statistics file in that directory I made earlier. So let's go into var log snort and have a look at the content of AppStats Unified Log, which will show you all the statistics about what apps were found on the network. I'm going to look at that file with a utility called U2 Open App ID, which is able to read the Unified Log. And in here, I can see all of the apps that I've used. Starting off with apt installing, um, installing links from the Ubuntu archives. So you can see HTTP, apt, links in Ubuntu. You can see me accessing Facebook with the app links over HTTP. And you can see me using SSHing into a daemon of OpenSSH uh, earlier as well. And there's some DNS and multicast DNS traffic in there as well, which, which uh, I'd expect to see. So there you go. That's OpenAppID running, configured, and uh, operational inside Snort.